everyone it's me betty confetti and today i decided to do a story time and i was going to talk about my first apartment so i got my first apartment back in 2013 i believe it was like the month of december and it was in lindenwald new jersey and if anyone's from south jersey you know lindenwald is what they like to call little camden and camden for those who don't know is it was ranked like one of the worst cities in the United States of America many times over. But yeah. You get the idea. Like if that was the worst city in America <laughs> and that's being compared to that, like it's not a good thing. So I moved to Lindenwald and I remember, let me backtrack. I actually found the apartment on an ad on Craigslist and it looked like it was mediocre, but I was like 20. No, I was 21 at the time. I really didn't care because like my mom had just died. Um, I didn't want to live in that house anymore where she died at. It was just really, um, it was a t really tumultuous time in my life. Like one of the worst things that ever happened to me and I didn't want to stay in that house. So I found that apartment and my late boyfriend, Greg, the picture of him here, got rest his soul we both agreed that we liked this apartment and we were going to move in. So we give the landlord the deposit. I remember we met her at a TD bank in the parking lot and we gave her um, our deposit. The funny thing was she didn't really have any documents for us to sign when we gave her the deposit. So I guess she pocketed all of that uh, revenue that we gave her because we did not get that deposit back. But um, we move in and we were one of those people that like moved in and we don't we didn't have any furniture. You're a dummy bitch. You will never know shit. Don't nobody want you. Don't nobody need. didn't care. We just wanted to not like be dependent on other people. So we got our own place and we had like an air mattress. We like pumped it up and we slept on it that night. And then I think like we ended up combining our money together. We got like a couch, TV, the TV I still have, the couch. That's another story. Um, not another story. I'll tell you later on um, in this story. And um, we made it our little love nest. Like, it was so cute, you know? So I remember, like, um, like the first week we lived there, we were playing, like, Dance Dance Revolution. You remember Dance Dance Revolution? You dance on the mat. That's, like, one of my favorite games. And I remember the neighbor knocks on our door, and they're like, yeah, you're really loud. And it was like this small Arab guy came to the door and he was, he looked like he was on crack. Come to find out he was a crackhead and he had HIV. So he like, he, he knocks at the door. He's like, yeah, you're really loud. Cause we hear the thumping downstairs. Cause we were on the second floor. Like I mentioned before. And I'm like, Oh my bad, blah, blah, blah. So, um, some reason Greg invites them in and I've told him I wasn't comfortable with it, but he tried to like go against my better judgment and he invites them in. So they come in and they do one of these, like look at my eyes. Like they look all around our apartment. And I, it, it, that was just like a red flag for me because I'm just like, what the fuck are they looking for? You know what I mean? Like it's not Disneyland and this is not Candyland and this is not like a theme park. It's nothing like spectacular in here. I mean like other than things that you would, might want to steal if you're a thief anyway so they sit down um his um his name was uh what was his name his name was Ali and her name was April I don't give a fuck I'm gonna use their name and um they were like the local neighborhood crackheads that she was a trick and he was her pimp and like they both both had HIV and they both would smoke crack all the time and how I know they smoke crack I will get to that later oh so they sit down on our couch and they're like looking at everything and like, mind you, it's Greg, it's me and Greg's best friend, Anthony, we were there and like, they just sat on the couch and we're all like looking at each other and I'm like, okay, this is really uncomfortable. So he looks at, oh shit, this is falling. So he looks at our PlayStation. What was it? I think it was a PlayStation three at the time. It, yeah, it was PlayStation 3. He was like, well, how much did that cost? So me and Anthony look at each other like, what the fuck? What does that mean? Like, what does it matter? What does that cost? Clearly, y'all don't have any money to buy that. So we didn't answer. We just started talking about something else. So then he looked at our TV. The crackhead looks at our TV. Crackhead Ali, he looks at the TV and he's like, oh, well, how much of that does that cost? We don't answer. So we just start talking about our hobbies 
to like lighten the mood because it was awkward that you asked to how much did two of our belongings cost that's just like a red flag to me i really wanted them to go but i didn't know how to ask i was like 21 and young whatever and um <laughs> and i remember ali out of nowhere takes a knife out like this and he starts like taking the knife and like going like this on his pointer finger and i'm like yeah, well, we got plans tonight, and we're going to have dinner and all, so I'm going to have to, you know, kick you guys out. And I did say it like that, but I said it, like, in a joking way. And so they, they're walking down the stairwell, because we were on the second floor, like I mentioned, and they're like, yeah, if you need anything or you guys want to hang out, let us know. So we're like, yeah, sure. Greg shuts the door, and I'm like, Greg, do not invite them in here again. Do not allow them near anything we have. I feel like they were casing our house, and now they know what we have, and they may rob us. And he was, like, naive. He was like, oh, I don't think so. So we go to sleep, turn the lights off. This apartment was infested with roaches. I remember we had roaches so fucking bad that the roaches would come out of the sockets of the apartment. You know, the light socket you plug in, the roaches would come out of the light sockets. The roaches was in the kitchen. The only place the roaches were not were in the bathroom, and but they were in our bedroom. And mind you, we didn't even eat in the bedroom. But for some reason, they were in the bedroom, and they would crawl. They would cr they crawled on us. And I remember one morning, Greg just woke up and shook the sheet like this. <laughs> got all the roach eggs and shit off of us. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, we had a really bad infestation problem. It was because of the people that I just told you, the two crackheads people, April and Ali, they were really not the cleanest people. So they had like bugs everywhere because, you know, if one person has roaches in an apartment complex and one person's not that clean, then you, everyone has roaches and the roaches will just go into your unit. So that's what was happening. And they would come into our unit and we would have company over and we would have that dreaded roach that would just walk across the screen like this. And I'm like, you can't even, the roach infestation was so fucking bad. Like you could not hide it. Like I remember I can't have my friend come over and I turned the lights on, on and the roaches were just like on the countertops, on the floor, on the wall, on the TV and the appliance. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, girl, I got bugs. I'm sorry. So, um, I remember, um, like months down the road, I started like itching really bad and I had like bumps on my skin and it was embarrassing because I had to go to work with the bumps on my skin. Come to find out, not only did we have roaches, we had bed bugs and the bed bugs would do the same thing. They crawl in and out of the light sockets. They were inside of our, they were inside of our bed. They were, um, I said, rest in peace to Greg. And I started talking about this whole situation. I just felt something move and that kind of scared me. So I guess he's here anyway. So, um, the, 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 the bed bugs were everywhere. They were in our couch. Like I would try to sleep on the couch and I wake up like, you know, when bed bugs bite you, there's like three dots right here. So that was a fucking nightmare. So we eventually, we just threw the fucking couch out. So I remember the crackhead neighbors were so bad that they would smoke crack and we would see the crack smoke just come up like this. It would rise from the first floor to the second. And I'm like, what the fuck is that? And I remember my dad was like, what the fuck is this? What the bumble cut? What is this? It's crack smoke. I didn't know what the hell that was because I never smoked crack smoke before. Before, And I'm like, okay, maybe it is because they were avid like crack smokers. So that was a problem. Then they used to like knock on my door and they would ask me for like a cup of sugar and then they would just ask for like weird shit like like yeah you got aluminum foil you got a crack cup of sugar can i borrow your car and that was that last one was not an exaggeration like they really knocked on my door and asked to borrow my car i'm like the fuck they were like yeah we knew you were home because we touched the hood of your car and it was hot i'm like oh my fucking god this is way too much so um yeah, and then I remember we used to hear them fucking arguing like all the time. Like they would be arguing because she would have a trick come over, and the trick would um give her money, of course, or maybe sometimes he didn't. Who knows? And they wanted the um split the money to go get crack. <coughs> Excuse me. And I remember hearing, "You got crack? I know you did, cause the trick paid you, and you smoked all of it." And then she would be like, "No, I didn't, Ali. No, I didn't." And then, like, ten minutes later, you hear them fucking. So, they were a trip. They were a dumpster fire, too. <laughs> and, um, 
Oh man, it was just a it was a nightmare. It was just bugs. We had two sets of bugs. We had the German cockroaches and we also had bed bugs. Then we got the two crackhead neighbors that always asked for shit. Then they stole my wallet. So the crackhead stole my wallet. How they did it, um, Greg found a cat on like uh what was it, Craigslist, Woodstown to go pick him up. And Woodstown's like forty five minutes away, but I was really tired and I didn't feel like doing it. So I remember like rummaging through my purse and like all of a sudden um, I felt like I was missing something, but I wasn't sure. So come to find out, um, my, my wallet was missing and I went to Wawa and I couldn't buy something. So I, I'm like, okay, I think I might've left it at home or whatever. So when I, um, when I got back after getting the cat, I checked the, um, the bedroom, I checked everywhere. It wasn't there. And then I'm like, okay, I guess I dropped my wallet outside. To make a long story short, these motherfuckers offered to help me find my wallet, right? They were the ones that stole my wallet. So what happened was, I guess I dropped it when I was really tired that morning. And I didn't feel like getting a cat. And they took the wallet, tried to buy all this stuff with it. But, like, I'm really, like, you got to be clever when you have a credit card. You got to, like, close everything. And I had, like, you know that little toggle you hit to close your credit card or leave it open for purchases? I had everything closed. And... They, I remember, um, um, I would see my bank statements. It was like, yeah, someone tried to make a purchase at Wawa to get this, that, and the third, and it wasn't working. So I went to the police station. I'm like, yeah, um, um, you know, making a police report and all. And I remember when I got back, the, the crackheads were like, yeah, um, what's going on with your wallet search? And I'm like, yeah, I went to the police station to actually let them know that my wallet is missing and someone did this and they said they're going to obtain the, um, the footage from Wawa where the uh, whole uh, incident happened to figure out who it was. Five minutes later, April and I are like, oh, we found your wallet. Here it is. We found it. We didn't know this was your wallet. No, motherfucker. You knew it was my wallet. You went and took it and tried to buy some shit with it and you couldn't because you're a fucking loser and you're not smart. I couldn't stand them, yo. They were just shysters. Like, you're going to sit up there and try to steal from me? Then they tried to sell me a broken TV. That was so stupid. It was just a lot of things that they did that was really freaking annoying. But eventually, like, we ended up moving out. It was just too much. The roaches, the bed bugs, the crackheads, the fighting, the constant fighting we would hear the crackheads do. It was just too much. So we ended up just packing our shit, getting out of there, moving out, and we got a better place. But that was the story of my first apartment. It was just a, it was just dirty. <laughs> it was a dirt ball place. Like, that picture you see, I think, was, like, four units down from where I actually lived at. But the, the all the apartments look like that. But yeah, that's what it looked like, and um, that's my um, journal entry or story time, whatever I decide to call this. Um, let me know what you guys think. Please like, comment, share, subscribe in the video. I'm Betty Confetti. Take care. Bye-bye.